Okay, in my lesson, I have a floor generator that we can add as a plugin. So I just wanted to show you real quick um, where we can find those and how to, to install those. If you are in the classroom, um, I have it in the Jager. I'll walk you through those steps in a minute. But you can find different plugins that you can use for 3ds Max online. Here's just one example, 3dbrute.com. This is one that I'm using. This works good all the way through the 2023. But there's other things in here that you can use for your plugins. So I just wanted to show you that. To find ours now, we're going to open up our, our J drive. So we can go over into my computer um, here. Obviously yours looks a little bit different. I'm going to go to, oh, this PC, and then it's gonna be Preble Student Share. I am going to open up Tech Ed and and then I'm gonna to go to 3D animation. So here I have it, it should be in under floor generator. This one says 2023. Um, I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to, so I can right click, copy, and I'm gonna minimize this and I'm going to paste it right here on my desktop. So uh, that's going to let me add it into my 3DS Max folder. Now, in order to get it to show up in my modifier list, okay? Because the whole goal is to put it over here so that when I open up the modifier list, it shows up. Right now it's not. So I need to be able to put that in my C drive and my program file under under um, the Autodesk. So the way to get there, because we don't have access to our C drive on the computer, if I click on my program, this is where I wanna save it to. I'm gonna right click on that, give me the menu. I'm going to open file location and we are going to look in here. Let me maximize it so you can see what's going on. And we'll open this up real quick. So I'm, I want Windows, Program Files, Autodesk, and this is where the program should be saved. Okay, so now under this folder, if, you do, if you're if you somewhere else, you can open up Program Files, Autodesk in this folder. Now we're gonna scroll down to plugins. Okay, open that up. And we want to drag and drop your floor generator into this folder. Now it will auto copy into there, click continue. And then it's going to ask you for a password, an admin password, because you don't have um, availability or accessibility to copy things into the program folders. So I will have to come and give you my password. Once we do that, then if I check now in my 3ds Max, it should be showing up in my my list here under floor generator. I may have to to close and reopen um, in order for it to show up. So I'm going to save my scene, and then I'm just going to reopen under recent. This is I'll just reopen the same one. Okay, and um, I'm gonna put in, I didn't have anything selected to actually do the floor. I'm gonna put in a box here real quick and let me select this and go to modify and see if it's in my list. Floor generator and let's try typing it in here. Floor, it's not. And if I um, select here, convert to edible poly, and I give it the face, see if it shows up in my list now. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Hmm. Okay, we, give me a second, I will be right back. If I can find my pause button. Um, ba, 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 ba. Let me see. So it looks like it's working now. I just had to sh completely shut down 3ds Max. I'll reopen my interior scene and um, it's not the right one. I'll reopen this one. And now if I try it, make sure you save this before you do it. It will should show up in my list here under floor generator. There it is. And this crashed it. Um, my other one, because this is a box instead of a flat surface. So my other one worked fine when I did it as the actual floor, but save your work before. And if you have problems with it crashing, let me know and we will get installed on your 
computer and see if we can get it to work. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next one.